Hey, it's Coach Michelle from Straight Up Strong, and today what I have for you is a beginner strength circuit. We're gonna do four exercises, we're gonna do three rounds, and we're gonna do each of the exercises or movements for 30 seconds. We've got glute bridges, push-ups, squats, and shoulder presses. So, for your push-ups, you will likely want something that's at an incline. We highly encourage you to practice your push-ups on an incline as opposed to on your knees as a variation because that's going to help you build your core strength much more effectively than working with them on your knees. You can also do wall push-ups if that is the variation that works for you in your body as a challenge, okay? So you'll also need a set of dumbbells or water bottles or soup cans to get you started for the shoulder presses that we're gonna do. Please make sure that you have warmed yourself up a little bit. Before this workout, you can actually search our channel for some warm-up examples. And also give yourself a little stretch at the end because one, it feels amazing. Two, we love flexibility. And you can also find some examples on this channel if you do a little search as well. If this video and workout is helpful, we hope that you'll return and do it again, as well as make sure you subscribe so you never miss a new video, either a workout, fitness tip, or nutrition tip from Coach Tina and myself. Enjoy this workout, and I will see you at the end. All right, our first movement is going to be the glute bridge. So we're gonna start on the floor, and we're gonna move for 30 seconds. So we're gonna be on our back, Finding our lower back flat on the floor. Feet are nice and close to our bottom. We are gonna exhale and we're gonna squeeze and press up, feeling our core and inhale and lower. So we are here for 30 seconds. Make sure that as we push through the floor, we are feeling this movement in our glutes. If you are feeling it in your lower back, I want you to really think about bringing your lower back flat to the floor when you are at the bottom of the movement. All right, so that was 30 seconds. Our next movement is we're going to move into the push-up. Now, we recommend that you do this on an incline if you need a variation as opposed to on your toes because this is a very challenging movement. We're going to bring our arms at 45 degrees, just like this, a nice straight line from our head to our bottom. Inhale as we lower down, exhale as we press up. And we are here for 30 seconds. If you need to take a break, please do so. If this is still really, really challenging for you, if your butt's coming up in the air, if you have a super saggy back, I want you to think about either bringing your incline up higher and even bringing it to the wall as that variation that's going to meet you where you are at. So we're gonna take a rest and we're gonna do some squats. When we are squatting, we love this movement in Straight Up Strong because we are constantly squatting, right? We are sitting in our chairs and getting up to standing. We're sitting on the toilet, getting up off the toilet. So what we are going to do is where our feet are hip width. You ready? Hip width apart, and we're just gonna drop down and push the floor away. Now, I encourage you, if you would like some extra stability and support, to have a bench behind your bottom, sit, Press that floor away. Inhale. Exhale as you come to standing. Inhale down. Exhale to standing. All right, so that's 30 seconds. Don't worry, we're gonna go through this again at a much quicker pace all the way through the circuit. The second movement is we are gonna do shoulder presses. So with your dumbbells or with your water bottles or soup cans, we're gonna have the weights at our shoulders, palms are facing in. And I want you to really think about making your body rooted through the floor, okay? We're gonna inhale, exhale, 
Bring those shoulders to, bring those biceps to our ears and down. And down. And lower with control. Making sure we're not arching our lower back. We're not swaying forward. We're nice and tight through the core as we press up and lowering with control. All right, we are gonna rest and we're gonna go through that sequence and we're just gonna move right through 30 seconds of each movement for a total of two minutes. Take a rest and then we're gonna go through it again. All right, so remember we are starting with that glute bridge. So we're on the floor. We're gonna start going in five seconds. Bring those feet nice and close to our glutes and begin. We are pressing up and lowering. Again, we're squeezing those glutes. These are glute bridges. If you're feeling these in your hamstrings, the back of your thighs, more than your glutes, I want you to really try to bring your heels as tight to your bottom as you can, as your mobility allows you to do. The further away from your bottom that your feet are at, the more you'll feel these in your hamstrings. All right, friends, we are now coming up for those push-ups. I'm gonna join you in our incline. Are we ready? 45 degree angle and inhale, press. Really think about keeping that core nice and tight as we lower and press, lower and press. Think about these as a moving plank. So push-ups, while we are working our upper body and our chest, we're actually working our entire body. And whew, press up. Excellent work. We're going to go into our squat. So again, either with a bench under your bottom or without, feet about hip width, toes slightly out. If you'd like to hold a weight at your chest goblet style, you can do that. Otherwise, we're dropping it down. Press the floor away. Inhale. Press the floor away. Really nice job, friends. Good. We're about halfway through these. You are doing so amazing. Showing up for yourself today to get that body moving. Good. Let's do one more. And up. Fantastic job. Shake those legs out. Grab what you are using for your weights. Shake those legs out. Bring these up to your shoulders. Rooting those feet through the floor so you are nice and stable. Ooh. And up, lower with control. Good, nice work. Nice job. We're always thinking about our range of motion, protecting our shoulder joints, protecting our lower back by engaging our core. We're gonna engage our core by rooting through the floor and using our breath to exhale and then inhale on the way down. Okay, how's everybody feeling? We are gonna go through that circuit one more time. So we're gonna come back down to the floor. Arm down, into that bridge. Bring those heels nice and tight to our bottoms. Find that flat back on the floor. And we're gonna begin in three, two, and exhale, press up, squeeze those glutes and lower. And lower, nice job. Really think about squeezing the glutes at the top of the movement. Our core is engaged. Nice work. And three, two, 
and rest. Okay, coming on up, we're gonna come up into those push-ups. Again, use the variation of whatever incline is challenging for you. Against the wall, at whatever incline, you can hold that plank position nice and tight, okay? We're gonna get going. Elbows at 45 degrees, you wanna look like an arrow, not like a T. And begin, inhale, up. Move at your own pace. The goal is as you practice these, you will get stronger and then you'll do more reps. And once you can do about 15 reps at this incline, you'll wanna think about decreasing to a lower incline until you're eventually on the floor. All right, nice work. <clears throat> Hope you're feeling great. Remember, if you need a little break, hit pause and then jump on in. Okay, we're going for our squats. And drop it down, press the floor away. Inhale, trying to keep our chest elevated. If you find that you're really collapsing over during your squats, I want you to put either a little a book of the same height under your heels to just slightly elevate your heels a bit to help you with your ankle mobility. And rest, next up shoulder presses, hands are facing in, Root through the floor, and good. This is our last movement here. You got this. Few more. Try not to shrug your shoulders into your ear as you press up. And last one. Awesome work. That is our 10 minute beginner circuit. We have glute bridges, we had push ups, we had squats, and we had shoulder presses. So make sure you drink some water and then try to come back to this workout or another strength training session sometime this week to start building your consistency. The more you practice, the better and stronger you're going to feel, okay? So if you have questions, drop them below. And again, if this was helpful and useful and you enjoyed this, please make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a new video. And also any questions that you have, feel free to email us at coach at straightupstrong.com or leave them in the comments below. And I will see you next time.